Hello everyone. Welcome to today's lecture. Today I'm going to take you through the overview of the Kani Master app. So when you open the app for the first time, this is the interface that you see. If you've done projects already and they are not deleted, you see them here as templates. So these are some projects that I have worked on for the past I mean, years and time. Yes. Yeah, things I've worked on. And this is actually everything here. Now, when you click on this YouTube icon, it will send you to the Kind Master YouTube channel. Then, when you click on this one too, it actually send you to the Kind Master store or the App Store for Kind Master, where you'll be able to download some projects and other side from their place. Then, if you want to go to the settings, you click on the settings button here. So when you click on it, then it will send you to the settings in here. But then I would advise that you maintain every setting. Yes, the settings that they have actually given is the best so far. So I, I don't advise people to actually make changes to them. So please stick to the settings that they've already provided in the app. Okay. So about my app, you can actually know how it works. So mine, for example, I have subscribed. So they said subscription information, kind master account signing in. I've not signed in even though I've actually paid, but I've not actually signed in here. Yes. So then that is how it is in. So if you want to actually start a new project, what do you do? You click on this icon here. You click on it. And when you click on it, we have something called aspect ratio. The aspect ratio will determine the size of the video. So you see some videos, they are, they are in portrait form. The person will be speaking. That is the aspect ratio. Others too. You see it in the landscape and most videos are in landscape. That is the aspect ratio. And normally for Instagram and Facebook videos, they are normally on the square ratio. So let's just take them one by one and see. So when you take the, I mean, the 16 by 9, you click on it. This is what you are going to see. So this is how the interface is going to be. Let me import one media so that you see what I'm talking about here. So this is how the video is going to be. That is the aspect ratio I'm talking about. Okay, what about I choose another one. So come in here. Then I select the aspect ratio 9 is to 16. So let's click on it. So this is how the interface is going to be. Now let's import a file and see. So we just import a file in here. So you see how you are seeing everything in here. So that is the aspect ratio I talked about. Then let's go in for the last one, which is the Instagram type one is to one. Select that one then it's going to be in a form of a square so when you import a media that's how you're going to see your media to be okay so that is the overview of, of i mean the beginning of everything now when we open the app it got a lot of tools in here we have the settings tab here however when you click on it it actually opens to it opens to this, I mean, place that you can make changes. Yes. When you want to actually, we have the auto master volume in here. This actually, when it is turned on, it's going to automatically help master your volume for you. That is when to fade in and when to fade out. If one do it manual, it depends on you. But as I said earlier on, 
I would advise that you maintain the settings by Kind Master. So you just turn it on and Kind Master is going to do everything for you. When and how to fade in and fade out is going to work for you. But then automatically Kind Master does the fade out for you. So if you want your videos or your audios to actually fade in, I mean the audios fade in, just, just turn on the fade in. So by default, the fade in is off it's only the fade out that you can have but then you have to turn it on yourself here come to video 2 the same thing applies in here do you want your video to fade in and fade out automatically so if yes select on then on you can select how long you want it to be but i i believe the two seconds is good then you come to the editing so with editing to we have i mean the project uh default duration projects default layer duration they are all in here you can change them but as i said i suggest and i advise that we maintain it then how do you want to actually work project defaults photo cropping that one to advise that we keep what kind master has provided already then we have this tool here it allows you to undo a work that you have already done so let's assume that i have this footage being inputted in here then maybe i just cropped it small now i've done the work and i don't like it what do i do i just come to this side click on the undo button to so undo then it will go back if i want to redo i just come to this side click on redo then it works in then we have the share button that allows you to share then this button too is here it allows you to view i mean visibly the number of tracks that are at work in your work and this tab to allows you to actually move to the end of your project so just straight up then when you are at the end of your project you want to come back to the beginning as easy as possible and as fast just click on it then it take you there then you are back so if you want to go back to the normal mode just click on it again then it brings you back to the interface so that is something small that you should be aware of thank you very much we we'll continue with this interface overview in the next lecture thank you and see you then